Good YTPC. Um, going to do another like comparison, kind of like how I did with the London Burley and the Makua and the Black Coffee and stuff. Um, I was sent some samples from um, good buddy Piper down on Instagram. Uh, I, he was doing some kind of a giveaway on the Get Pipe Discord, and um, I won a, a tin of Krampus Knot from Sutliff, and he also threw in a bunch of uh, samples, some stuff I've never tried, some that I've had before, and um, have had it a while, so it was pretty cool to kind of visit some different blends um, that I, it's been a minute from that I've smoked, and then uh, some new ones as well. Um, but he included a sample of Sutliff Sugar Bucket, um, which it's it's a um, it's the match to Sugar Barrel by uh, John Middleton um, Incorporated. So um, yeah, I'm a, I think I did smoke a bowl of it, but and it's been a long time since I've smoked Sugar Barrel. Sugar Barrel is not uh, in production anymore. Um, but somebody that used to be a, a YouTuber on, uh, in the YTPC, he's from St. Louis and I met him sometime in, oh my gosh, it was forever ago, but he gave me a huge thing of sugar barrel and I jarred it up and I smoked it every once in a while and I didn't realize it was like, uh, gone out of production until somebody had mentioned it and I was like, Dang, I got some of that. I had sent some to uh, Paladin to try, because I don't think he's ever tried the original. I think there are a couple different matches. Um, Milan. Milan, I think is... How you pronounce that? Is one. Uh, Pipes and Cigars has a match. So... I shouldn't do, you know, a comparison with all of them, but I think I'll just do just these two, and then maybe later on down the road if I grab some of the other ones to try. Um, so yeah, real quick before I get into it, um, just real some of the specs uh, off of Tobacco Reviews. The Sugar Barrel is John Middleton. Uh, burley based contents are burley and virginia flavoring sweet and sugar a ribbon cut and it did come in a one and a half pouch one and a half ounce pouch or 14 ounce tin but uh its average rating is 2.87 out of four and then uh the sugar bucket which on i think they changed the name or something um because now it's on Tobacco Reviews. It says Match Sugar Barrel by Sutliff. And on here, I think on like uh, Smoking Pipes and stuff, it says Sugar Bucket. Um, but it is blended by Carl McAllister. Manufactured by Sutliff. It's a Virginia Burley. Contents are Burley in Virginia. Flavoring, cinnamon, and sweetened sugar. It, the cut is a mixture. And it comes in bulk, and its average rating is 2.71, so a little bit under the original. But I'm going to pack these pipes up probably after dinner, and then I'll come back and, uh, and do a little side-by-side -side comparison. I'm going to smoke them out of uh, a Mark Twain Cobb and a Cobbett Church Warden. So... I'm going to load these up, eat some dinner, and uh, come back and do a little experiment. Okay, so I got uh, got my pipes packed. The um, sugar barrel in the Mark Twain, and then the sugar bucket in the Cobbett. Um, just by looking at these cuts... I'm not sure if it'll focus or not, but that's what that's the sugar barrel. And then this is the sugar bucket. And this is like I don't know, a lot more bigger chunks. I'm not sure if that's just how how it is normally or 
or what, but it's also, I don't know, it looks a lot, I mean, the, the barrel is a lot darker, and that might be just because of the age on it, maybe, I don't know, um, probably, but, um, and then the, the, the smell, the tin note, jar note, bag note. A lot more cinnamon in the sugar barrel than the bucket, I think, because. And what's weird is like the. Uh, on tobacco reviews, it didn't say anything about cinnamon on the sugar barrel, but said something about it on the sugar bucket. So I'm going to light up the sugar barrel first. I'm going to light up the, uh, the cobbit, the sugar bucket. So the sugar barrel much more smoother on like the retro hail. The cinnamon comes through pretty nice like it's just really uh not too subtle but it's it's there you can definitely you can definitely uh taste it. bit nutty but then on this <clears throat> sugar bucket for one it's not staying lit <clears throat> very well it's not moist or nothing retro hill on this burns like it's, it 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 burns more than like a Perique blend. The cinnamon comes through, but it's a different. It almost reminds me of like the cinnamon like potpourri that you like smell when you go through like, I don't know, a Hallmark store or something. And maybe that's why it burns so bad on the retro hill because it's like a, I don't know, it's like a different kind of cinnamon. Definitely reminds me of like cinnamon, like whiskey, like fireball or something like that. I have some fireball like little bitty shooters that I got during Christmas just in like a playing different holiday games on my on my uh, dad's side And then <clears throat> sugar barrel is kind of like more like.
like maybe like a cinnamon whiskey cocktail, if that makes sense. I never really noticed it before smoking it on the sugar barrel. I mean, I've smoked it before, but not when I said I, you know, I had a decent amount and I had mostly just gave it a lot of it away. <clears throat> um, last time I smoked it was probably years ago. So I don't really remember, like, I didn't really pay attention to when I, when I was smoking back then, really. It's interesting though. Well, I think I might just uh, smoke these both down. They don't want to stay lit very well. At least the sugar bucket. Kind of hard to do a, you know, double fisting. Uh, comparison but I'll say that I like the sugar barrel more because of the that real like spiciness that comes through on the ritual hill on the sugar bucket I'm not it's a little bit too too much for me um, it's, it's pleasant with the with the sugar barrel my wife is singing in the other room if you can't hear <laughs> I don't it's probably coming through so, she knows I'm doing a video. Um, anyways, I'll probably uh, smoke on these for a little bit longer and I might come back with my final thoughts. <clears throat> so, um, I decided to go do something dangerous <laughs> and uh, <clears throat> poured a glass of <laughs> fireball. <laughs> <laughs> I've done shots of fireball but I've never sipped it it's, it's weird kind of but it definitely it definitely goes pretty well with, with these tobaccos um, kind of wonder if maybe like mixing it with something else you know like a a soda or something. Coke or Pepsi or... You know, Dr. Pepper would probably be pretty good, I bet. Like the feeling I get with the retro hail on the sugar bucket is kind of the feeling I get in my throat from the fireball. <laughs> it's like it it feels the same. <clears throat> but I bet adding some adding a soda to that would be Pretty good. Anyways, that's really, you know, all the thoughts I have on it. I'm probably going to finish these up and maybe light up something that I enjoy more. But as far as these two, I definitely like the original more. The the bucket is pr pretty close for the mo for the most part as well. <clears throat> so, anyways, thanks for watching. Hope this was fun for everybody. It was fun for me, and uh, I'll catch you in the next one. <laughs>